Hi guys, Wandersun here. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to compile the modern user interface Pi Dracula for Windows using CX Freeze, which also supports Linux and Mac OS. I will be leaving in the video description the link to this module to consult all the documentation. Reminding everyone that this interface is with early access to download to all Patreon supporters. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and leave your like, it helps a lot to bring more videos. Inside VS Code the first thing we are going to do is create a file called setup.py, it will be inside that file that we will create all the configurations to convert into an executable. If you don't have CX Freeze installed yet, just type the command pip install CX Freeze. In this case I already have it installed, and it returned these messages in the terminal. Inside the setup file, import the modules as shown in the video. After that I will create a variable called files, this variable will contain a list of files and folders that our application needs to work. After that we will create another variable that will receive the executable class, it is within this variable that we will tell cx for z which file it should run to compile the application and also for which platform. In base we will put the target of the application, which in this case will be for Windows, so we use the Win32 GUI, this command is not related to a 32-bit system. <laughs> After that in setup place the information of your application such as name, description, version and author. In options we will use the build exe parameter which will include all additional files from the files variable. And finally in executables add the variable target that we created earlier. After that, open the terminal in your application folder and type the command python setup.py build and press the enter key. If everything happens correctly it will generate our executable application. This process may take a few seconds. A folder called build will be created, inside it we will find the executable of our application. See that our application is executed correctly, and with all functions working. That done I will change the theme of our application to the light version, when changing this interface we will see that an error will be generated after recompiling our application. This error happens because the CSS file that is responsible for the stylesheet has not been incorporated. We will now add this folder to the setup file. I will save the file and compile your project again. See that the themes folder has been included correctly. If you do not want to make these QSS files visible to users, you can place them inside a Python variable that will be compiled together with the application. But remember to change the logic of your application to recognize this new feature and not read the files on the HD. That done we have our application working perfectly. Remembering once again that you can have early access to this interface by being a Patreon supporter. In about a month it will be publicly released to everyone through GitHub. Thanks to all Patreon supporters.
See you in the next video.